hi everybody this is c3 readings and hi libra let's see what messages will show up for you guys what do we have for libra sun moon rising and venus signs where's my deck okay <laughs> it's right in front of me what do we have for libra libra we will get your guided message first um and then we will see what shows up I will also be linking your extended underneath the video to find out more about the person that you are connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So you can check it out if you want. It will be linked underneath the video as well as your 2022 predictions. Some of you are dealing with two different people. I don't know. I just got that in my head. Or some of you have a decision to make uh, between two different, something two different, okay? Like two different options or... Two different maybe career choices okay what else can it be why am i so slow this morning i just woke up <laughs> i woke up i just sat down to do a reading <laughs> what's up with you guys what are you guys doing by the time you you probably see this it will be night time but i'm having coffee what are you guys having if you're having anything why is this turning into a chit chat libras love some little chit chat i know <laughs> okay we have purity and stillness libra i feel like for a lot of you libra you are by yourself you're going through a time period where you're realizing things okay you're letting go of things and you're realizing things. There's something here about your crown chakra and your heart chakra, which talks about being able to discern and being able to actually receive love, being open and receptive to love. Also, you know, not coming from a negative heart space. This is giving me a vibe, Libra, that you're going through a big transformation, okay? There's something changing. And a lot of you could be experiencing this change within, within yourself as well. Like, you know, how you view things, how you feel about things, perhaps. Um, the choices that you're making, okay? Let's have a look. What's the message for Libra in love? The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. See, I told you there's something here that has changed Libra. And I'm also getting that... Um, cassette. Why do I feel like Libra, you miss somebody, but you miss somebody, but you feel like it is over and I have to get over this person. So you've kind of like isolated yourself a little bit to get over somebody, but there is a person or a certain, yeah, there is something that you keep thinking about addiction, energy, engagement ring. Somebody could be married or this is like somebody's craving a union here. Now, I don't know if it's you or your person. I kind of feel like it's coming from both sides a little bit. Um, but you're healing. Let's see. Let's see what shows up. What do we have for Libra, please? Oh, look at that. Seven of Wands. 
Uh, this could be a person that you are not communicating with. Of course, I do feel like this is a person that you are not communicating with. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you may even have blocked this person. Okay. You're not talking to this person. I see you in a little bit of a defensive mood, Libra, where it's like... You could be focused on something, but I don't feel like it's love. It's like you are, you're focused on other things. When it comes to love, you're a bit hesitant to open up to it. What is the Knight of Wands? There is this, there is this person who feels very attracted to you, Libra. Five of Pentacles, Libra. Okay, this is somebody who feels left out by you. And I feel like this is a person, Libra, that you're not communicating with. They're not communicating with you. You're not communicating with them. But with the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, this tells me that this person still misses you. This person still misses you. For some of you, Libra, you may have recently experienced some form of a change in your finances or maybe there was a loss, okay? Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but it does look like there have been some changes in your finances. Maybe you're trying to get better with your finances, okay? Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. This is a love situation too, Libra. Ooh, the Two of Cups, Five of Cups, Empress fool magician lovers oh my goodness what is this libra okay i feel like this is a significant message for you <clears throat> libra i see a soulmate connection here i do look at that magician and the knight of swords so I feel like Libra temporarily, some something could just feel like it's off. It's off balance. You don't know wh where the situation is going. But I kind of feel like it's going to get better for you. Okay. It will definitely get better for you. And I do see that you will unite with this person. But not, you know, soon. I kind of feel like it's going to take its time. Show me more. What's the challenge for Libra? There's somebody you love, the devil energy. Okay, what's that? I don't feel like it's, 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 okay, it's not really seeming a negative influence. If I'm going to be honest, people misinterpret the devil card so much. Oh, anywho. The thing is that Libra, over here energetically, I feel like this is about a love situation that is hard to let go of. Uh, you are wanting a union with somebody who is not with you, who's separated from you. And at the same time, you're evolving yourself. I don't feel like you are running after somebody, but you do miss this person, okay? And there's this bond that you guys share. Now, the devil and the page of cups here is showing me that this person also thinks about you. So there's like that energetic tie between you and this person. Okay, even though you guys are not communicating with one another, Libra. Okay, there is that willingness to open up to love. Okay, but your energy being the seven of wands, look at where you are a little bit hesitant, you know, because I talked about your heart chakra and your crown chakra at the beginning, which also talks about being receptive. Sometimes when we go through certain experiences, we are like, oh, never again, I'm never going to do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, and know it or not, we're coming from a negative heart space. We are. Okay, so Ace of Wands to the Three of Cups reverse. I feel like Libra, for some of you, you dealt with a person who had a third party. Okay, somebody here has two lovers. I don't know who has two, you or your person. But there's also somebody who backed off from this three-way situation because they were like, I'm not going to be an option here. I love this person. I want this person, but I want something exclusive with them. I don't want to be a part of a you know situation that seems messy 
So I kind of feel like there are two different lovers here, if I'm going to be honest with you. Some of you could be with the person and you miss somebody else. Just saying. Maybe that's not the case for everybody. Of course, general readings are not for everybody. But let's see. The star. You're healing, Libra. You are growing. You're healing. You're stabilizing yourself. And with the King of Pentacles energy, I kind of feel like you are getting there. Slowly but surely, you're moving towards the space of, okay, I finally understand things. I get it. Okay, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to heal myself. For some of you, you may have a business online. Or like, you know, you work on the internet, perhaps. Okay, so I see that going good for you. There could even be a wish fulfillment. Okay, what is the star? Page of Pentacles. There could be something new when it comes to money, okay, that you are being offered here, and it is turning out good for you, Libra. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles, which Nine of Pentacles is the card of independence. It's the card of, it's basically a pre-empress energy. So money-wise, there is something good coming up, so don't worry. Um, for some of you, there could be even a new person that you will meet. Uh, tell, okay, so your challenge here is the Devil and the Page of Cups. Tell me more about their challenge. Six of Wands. Four of Wands and the Sun at the bottom of the deck. Libra, the, your challenge here has a lot to do with what's holding you back, okay? And I feel like this also has a lot to do with a person that you could be trying to avoid, but they're still showing up in your energy, okay? Some of you have realized that this love is toxic for me or it is, or it is addictive, okay? Some of you literally got addicted to somebody or they got addicted to you. Give me this person's energy a little bit because I can feel that it's mutual. It's not like it's just you making up stories in your head. So let's see, Libra. Tell me something about this person. Of course, a more in-depth reading about your person will be linked underneath the video. So you can check it out if you want with bonus messages, general messages, okay? Look at this. That is you, the Justice card, Nine of Swords. Okay, Ace of Swords. Could be a Pisces, Libra, or could be anybody though, Leo. Now, Libra, let me tell you something. This person wants to clarify things with you, okay? They think a lot about you, the Nine of Swords to the Justice energy. This is somebody who probably thinks a lot about you and they're thinking about wanting to clarify something with you especially with the ace of swords but the thing is that at this present moment i feel like this person's confused they are focused on their life they are trying to you know maybe this person owns you know some owns something like a business or what i don't know what they do but this is somebody who has good things going on for them in their life okay and I kind of feel like this is somebody who wants you, but they're a little bit confused at this time, okay? Five of Cups wanted to come out. Okay, this person, look at that, Libra, they're sad. They're sad, okay? Which is why you're sad as well, but I don't know what exactly happened between the two of you. I kind of feel like this person ran away from you or you ran away from them, okay? Because something in the past, like you guys tried to reconcile, but one person ended up running away or I don't know what happened exactly. You guys couldn't unite. Okay. What is the outcome here for Libra? What's coming in the future and their advice to close off the reading? <clears throat> outcome, the world and the nine of pentacles. So I see you doing good, looking good, smelling good, doing good. Nine of pentacles, very independent energy um but the world caught so i feel like there are endless opportunities around you libra for some of you maybe you're even planning to travel look at that bottom of the deck is ten of cups six of cups okay somebody is one decision away <laughs> um 
What is the advice for Libra? So I do see a cycle closing and new opportunities coming in for you as well. You're surrounded by a lot of potential and a lot of signs are at this time. But outcome is pretty good. I don't see any resistance. Um, I think I see things flowing freely, especially money wise. Some of you could also be taking care of your health. OK. Your advice is the strength card. What is something that you keep thinking about, Libra? Uh, Eight of Swords and the Strength card, it tells me that you're overthinking a situation or you keep thinking about a person here or a situation that you also feel like you cannot do anything about. So it's either that you have to drop it or you have to do something about it because staying stuck is not really going to help you. Strength card talks about holding on to your inner strength, okay? about whatever it is that you feel stuck. Endurance, I heard. Okay. Now let's have a look at your guided message to close off your reading and your extended will be linked underneath the video for more details about the person that you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out, Libra. It will be linked underneath the video for you, okay? Purity. No matter what has happened in the past, everything can be fresh and new again. The purity of your soul is shining through everything that you encounter. You are entering into a period of grace. Simply open your heart and know that the best is yet to be. The past does not need, need to equal the future. Your future can be and will be shimmering, sparkling and bright. All limiting patterns are dropping away. Recurring challenges are, re are releasing. Sorry, This is a time of redemption, forgiveness and holy healing. Okay, let's read for you stillness. Take a step back from a project situation or a relationship or even if it is just for a few moments. Mend bridges, slow down, breathe, be still, go within, listen to your inner voice. Take time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors and spiritual guardians. Listen to your higher self. Timing is everything. This is not a good time to start a new cycle. Wait, incubate, fix things that need fixing, heal things that need healing. Think things through. Forgive yourself and others. If things seem barren or even bleak, hold on. Just as the migrating birds find new life in the marshes in the summer, you too will expand once again during the coming thaw in your life. Cool. So that's it, Libra. Those were the messages that showed up for you. If this resonated, check out the extended link below. Give this video a like and all of that. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. Take care and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.